In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today we're looking at the seventh episode of John chapter 6, verse 41 to 49. And we're looking specifically at verse 56 today. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. This word abide, this word abide means to remain forever, to remain for a period of time. It is not just a one-time interaction but rather it truly is a remaining in it is one in the other over a period of time and here we see that that he who eats the body and drinks the blood of christ abides in him and he abides in us now this this word abide speaks of our very purpose in life our very purpose in life is to be uh, in loving union with God, to become one with Him, for Him to be in us and we in Him, that we may decrease, that He may increase, that this loving union be manifest in our lives in everything that we are and that, that we do. This whole movement of the incarnation of Christ where the Word of God became flesh and the Greek truly says in John 1 14 and dwelt in us not just among us the translation is among us but the Greek says and dwelt in us this movement of God dwelling in man abiding in man and in return man abiding in God this whole movement is our very purpose this is why we strive this is why we pray this is why we deny ourselves this is this is the very aim of the kingdom is for me and my beloved lord for you and your beloved lord to abide in each other it is no mystery uh, that he would say you know he who eats my body and drinks my blood I will abide in him or in her. It's no mystery. It's obvious. It's a it's a very straightforward uh, equation. Even uh, when one consumes something, it, they it it is in them. But he says before I will abide in them. He says you when you eat my body and drink my blood, you abide in me and I in you. How is it that if we consume the body and blood of Christ how is it that we then abide in him it is he that we're taking in and and the imagery of Saint Cyril and and Origen and many others comes to mind is is the imagery of fire and iron and if you put iron to a flame it takes on all the properties of the fire it, it 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 takes on the property of heat and light and and yet it remains iron and it is the same when we receive christ the incarnate god into us we say in the liturgy that his humanity never parted from his divinity not for a moment or a twinkling of an eye so if his humanity never parted from his divinity or his divinity never parted from his humanity for 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 a single moment then his divinity does not part from his humanity as we consume him as we consume his body and his blood and so we receive christ we receive as as saint peter says we become partakers of the divine nature in the eucharist god comes to make his home in us and just as fire spreads throughout the iron and the iron takes on the properties of the fire so as we receive the eucharist it goes beyond us this fire goes beyond and we find ourselves abiding in him and he in us my prayer for us today is that we may never forget this double blessing of abiding in him and him in us that we would know this to be this abiding to be the very purpose of our lives the very thing we are striving for 
whether it be in the Eucharist, in prayer, in serving and loving and touching the poor, the sick, the ill, the visiting those in hospitals. All of this, its very purpose is to abide in Christ and for Christ to abide in us. It is loving union with God. Have a beautiful day.